Welcome back, gang. We are now ready to take a deep dive into the chat rooms. So these buttons right here, I want to create a show page, so we'll need a route for that. And then this button will be clickable, and then we can head over to the to the actual room and start working in there. So the first thing that we do need to do is create a route. So we'll go to routes, web.php. We'll come into the chat rooms group that we have here and we can just copy and paste this and we are going to be using root model binding but the field that we need is going to be um, the the slug so we'll do slash open up some curly braces room slug okay and the function and the name that we're going to be using is show Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the room controller and start working in there. So in here, we're going to open that up. And now we can do a return render, or sorry, return inertia render. And then we'll have the, we'll create this in a second. So the user chat rooms. show and then since we're already passing in the room we can just create a prop for it. it's room equals room okay let's go ahead and create this page now so we'll head down to our resources js pages user and then we already have a chat rooms folder here. So we'll just create the page. Show dot view. And in here we'll just create some scaffolding. Div. We'll just say room. We'll add our script. And then we can bring in the prop of a uh, room that we're passing in. Okay, room. And what we can also do now is go into the index page and for the button we can go ahead and add the new route here. So href equals route and then it's chat rooms dot show and then we're passing in the parameter of room slug okay so why don't we refresh the page and make sure that that's working like it's supposed to so we'll refresh and then we can click a room we'll just click the first one and it should take us to that page alaska okay now the other thing we're going to need in here are messages and there are a couple of different ways to do that but I think that since we're not going to set it up so that a user can uh, create a new a new um, a room then we can go ahead and just use the controller the room controller to handle even the message functions which is fine but if you are going to do it so that a user can create their own personalized custom rooms then I would suggest using the message uh, the using messages as its own controller with its own model and everything attached to it and doing it that way but since we're not doing it that way then we don't really need to we can just use this controller to handle that for us so why don't we go ahead open up a new terminal and we'll type in php artisan make model okay we'll make a message model and then we'll also make a migration for that model Okay, so press enter. And then we can open up the, the, the table, so database, migrations, and go down to the bottom. We can start working in here. Okay, so the new field that we're going to need is we can copy and paste this one. And the first thing we're going to need is a text and we're going to call this text body okay and then 
the next one is going to be foreign ID. And we're going to use the users table for this one so that each message belongs to a user. Okay. That's the relationship. Okay. And then we'll make it constrained. And then on delete, we'll cascade. We can do, do the same thing for the room ID. Okay, and that's good for the messages. So let's head into the message model and set that up. Oh. Message. Okay, um, I can close this. Okay, so we need to first add our fillable field, so protected. fillable equals an array and then we'll just have body user ID and room ID okay the next thing we'll need is a relationship for the user so public function user and return this so this message okay belongs to the user class okay and we need to add one more in here we can just copy this one so copy paste and this one is going to be for the room and we need to change this to room okay now we can also head over to the room model and add that relationship here public function messages and return this this has many and then it'll be message class we can now close out the models and the table okay and so we'll head back to the uh, controller so in here we can now bring in the messages but we're going to bring it in as a variable so message or messages equal message where room id equals room id and then we can come down a line and start um, adding the things that we need pulled in. So with, we're gonna, this is another useful function or another useful tool for Eloquent that you can bring in the model. So we can bring in the user model that belongs to the messages, okay? And the next one is we'll have the oldest because we want them to be the listed by the oldest to the newest. So oldest, and then after that, we can just say get, okay? So now we can come down here and add that as a property equals messages, okay? So now we can head into the show page and also bring in that prop so now let's go ahead and migrate our new table so php artisan 
migrate. And while that's doing that, now we can go to our database. We'll refresh it and hopefully we'll see it there. And it is messages. We'll click on that. And then we'll go and insert a new message in there just for testing. Okay, so the body is, we'll just say test message. The user ID we'll say is one. The room ID, it's just the first one. And then created at, we'll just put some random numbers in there, random um, times. Okay, so let's make sure that's good. Okay, and let's go and make sure that it's in the table. Okay, there it is, test message, user ID 1, room ID 1. Now let's come into the room, open up our inspect tools, and then we'll refresh this page. We'll open up view. Inertia, show. Okay, and now we have our message. Okay, cool. So let's go start building out this page. So we'll head back to the text editor. We can close out the index page now because we don't need it anymore. It was just for the button. Um, and let's start working on this. So the first thing we need to do is bring in our pages layout so we can create our title section. So pages layout open that up and let's import it first so import pages layout from at components or sorry layouts pages layout and then add a component section and pages layout okay so up here we need a template okay template template open that up and let me go back to this other terminal just so we can see if we're getting any errors so template hashtag title we need a div. Open that up. And then we need a class of flex flex cop. Okay. And here we need an inertia link. And we'll open that up and then we need an href equals this is going to be the route of uh, chat rooms index we already have that and then we need a class on it of flex text gray 800 and then we need a new icon which i need to put in the icon file and we'll i'll just paste it down here and that'll be in github okay so we'll go back to the show page and then i'll go ahead and paste it in here and then we need some span tags and in this span it's just going to say back and I'll paste some classes in here as well okay which is just font semi bold text large capitalize underline ml2 
So now let's go ahead and refresh the browser and see if all this stuff is coming in. So refresh. Okay, now we have it here and if you hover you can see it'll take us back to the chat rooms page. Okay, so let's head back into the text editor and continue on. Under the link, we can go ahead and add another div with, uh, let's try and use the extension. So flex, justify, between, items center, and margin top of five. Okay, and then we'll need an H3 in here. And I'm just going to paste in some classes for this one. Which is just font semi-bold, text large, text gray, and leading tight. Okay, then we're going to say welcome to curly braces, room, name. And then under this h3 we're going to have an h4 and we're just going to call this for now it's going to change but we'll just say room active okay and then at the end of that we'll have active users okay let's check that out and make sure that these props are coming in let's go back refresh Head back to the text editor and then under the div, this one, we're going to have another div uh, with classes of flex, space, x, 4, and margin top 5. Open that up. And then we're going to have two divs. Okay, the first one is going to have a class of, I'll just go ahead and paste it in. Okay, and the second one is going to have class, and I'll paste that one in as well. So let's open these up. Now is a really good time to head over to Pusher and start working on our back end because there are things that we need to pull into this show page. Okay, so we'll go back to our browser. We'll head over to Pusher. You want to make sure that you're in your app, which is Social Network Demo for us. You want to go down to App Settings. Okay, and you want to scroll down. Force TLS, we don't really have to. Enable Clients Events, yes. Um, enable subscription counting, yes. Enable authorized connections, yes. Okay. And all this is really doing is giving it permission to, it's giving Laravel permission to use our credentials to handle our chat, our chat, um, functions. Okay. So there are a lot of steps involved here at this point. So, we're just going to tackle them one at a time. We'll head back to the text editor and we want to first go to routes channels and set up our channel. Okay. So this is the one that we have set up already for our messaging, our notifications, but we're going to create a new one. We're going to call it broadcast. Okay. Broadcast channel. And this channel name, it's going to be called chat dot we're going to open up some curly brackets we're going to call it room id so now our chat room is going to be referenced by the room id okay um we don't need this class here okay but we need a function we're going to pass in a user and we're going to pass in the room id and then in the inside of these two brackets, we're going to make a space and open up some curly brackets. In here, we're going to add if. Uh, let me bring this down so we can get a better look. So if 
auth check. Okay, then we'll just return. We're going to return some items that we need to display on the front end. So the first thing is we're going to have username equals user username. And the next thing, all we need is the avatar. So that's going to equal user profile photo URL. Okay, and we also need a semicolon at the end of this. Now this is in the Laravel documentation that we took a look at in the previous episode. Um, so it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. But the next thing that we want to do is create a new event which means we need to now head into the event service provider. Okay. At the bottom of this, we're going to add app events new chat message event class equals Okay, we'll open up some brackets and then the next one is going to be app listeners new chat message listener I don't know if we're going to use this listener but we'll just keep it here for now Let's head over to the new chat message event and start working in there. So if we go up to events, new chat, we come down. We need to now pass in two properties. We can close this and we can close this. Okay, um, the, the properties that we're passing in are both message and user. Pusher is bringing in the user and we're providing the messages from the controller okay so under this use with the traits we can just say public message copy paste and then we'll add user here okay in our construct we need to bring in those new properties so message and user and then we also need to define them here so this message equals message copy paste and then we'll change this one to user okay so now let's go down to the broadcast on because this is what we'll need to send messages back and forth. So we'll leave this as private channel. All of this is in the documentation. We'll leave this in the private as a private channel. We'll change this channel name to chat dot and outside of the single quotes we'll put dot um, this message room ID. We need to pass that into the into the channel, okay? Which is what we did when we set it up in the routes file in the routes dot channels. We we're sending in the room ID, okay? So now we can close that. We can close that. We can close that. So the next thing we need to do is actually create a route for this. So we'll go to resources, no, we'll go to routes, web.php, we'll come to the chat room routes, and then we'll just copy and paste it. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is post. We're going to keep room slug, and then we're also going to add messages into the URL. 
So now this and this is going to be stored because that's what we'll be using in the controller. We can now head back into the controller and start working on this store function. So room controller, we'll head up to store. And because we're doing root model binding, we need to add that to the parameter here. So room, room. And let's bring that into here as well. Um, so app models room and then the parameter. Okay, cool. So now we're going to create a message variable. We're going to equal it to room messages as we have that relationship. And then we're going to add a create function. So create semicolon. So now we'll need a body. And this is going to be the request body. And then we'll need the user ID, which will equal the auth. ID and we're already getting the room the room ID because it's we're using the root model binding so it's gonna go ahead and just add that for us okay and then we need to return back so now in order to add the event to this function we need to now bring in the broadcast so broadcast new new chat message event and we need to pass in the message from the variable up here that we're that we're creating okay and then we also need to pass in the auth user okay and one more important thing is, in order to make sure this message doesn't get duplicated, we need to send to others. And this will just make sure that others can, we're, we're broadcasting this message to others. Again, that's in the documentation. Okay, so let's make sure we import this event. Now we can start bringing some of this stuff to the front end. Okay, so we'll head back to the show page, and then what we need to do is create a mounted lifecycle hook first. So mounted, and open that up, and we're going to create a method, but we're going to call it this connect. Okay, and we'll come down here and create the method. So methods connect and we need to add the event in here so we're going to do echo let me scroll this down a bit so we can see it better echo dot private then we'll call the channel we need some backticks and in the backticks we are going to add chat we need a dollar sign some curly brackets and then this room ID and underneath this we're gonna add listen and we're gonna listen for the new event so new chat message event and we need to add the event and then that'll equal We'll create a new property called new message equals uh, body e dot message dot body 
the user equals e dot user And then under here, we'll add messages push new message. We also need to add the form up in a data function. So data return. Uh, I need a comma down here. And then we need form, this inertia form, open that, and we need the body, this body, and room, this room. So let's go ahead and put the function for that as well. Can just shrink this down a bit. So the message that we're going to make is we're going to call it submit message open that up and it's going to be this form post this route chat rooms store this is the function that we just did in the controller. We need to pass in this room. And then we need a comma, curly brackets, preserve, scroll, true, on success, anonymous function, this form body equals null okay so now we need to create this form so how we're going to do this we're going to use some components okay so if we go back up to the template and we go down to the um, second div that we have empty here okay the first one we're going to call it chat box. Why don't we actually just go ahead and create those components first? So components. We're going to create another folder here. So this one will be called chat and then the first component will be uh chat box.view. Okay, so we'll just add our template for now and our JavaScript. Okay, so in the show, in that second div, we can add chat box, and then we can pass in the messages to that uh, component, so messages. This is what we have coming in from the controller. Let's go ahead and import this chat box. So import chat box from at components chat chat box. And then down here we'll just add chat box. So let's start building out this chat box. So the first thing we can do is bring in that messages prop. So props messages and then we'll go up to the template and we're gonna have an opening div of height full overflow y auto and a border border bottom open that up then we're going to have another div with a class of border bottom px3 and a py of 3. Okay, open that up. 
And this div, we're going to make a v4 loop because this is going to list, this is going to be the component that just holds the messages that we have in there. So it's going to be v4 message in messages. We need a key of message ID. And then we're going to add a special class. of message this is just so that each user so if we're the logged in user or someone else is the if we're the logged in user we have one color and the other users will have different colors so that's what this is for so user id does not equal page props user id If that's true, then the text will be right. Else, the text will be left with a BG gray of 600 and a text gray of 200. Okay. So now in the div, we can just have another div with a class of flex and a class of item center. So now this one will also have its own class. It equals message user ID does not equal page page props user id and if that's true then it'll be justify end and bg gray 300 else leave it empty okay so now uh, do I have an extra one? Empty. Okay. So now we need to put in an image. And the source for this is going to be message user profile photo URL. We don't need an alt for this, but we do need some classes. So width four, height of four, rounded full, and object cover. Okay. Well, we we can put an alt. So let's put alt equals let's say message user username. That's fine. All right, so under this image file, we're going to put an inertia link. And this inertia link is going to go back to the user's profile page. So href equals. And in the href, we're going to put um, route profiles show. And then we need to add in the parameter of message user username. Okay, we'll open this up. And then we'll have a span tag with a class of font semi bold tracking wider ml1. Okay, and again, we need another one of those special classes. The class equals message user ID does not equal page props user ID. If that's true, then the text will be blue.
else the text is blue. 300. Okay, and in the span tag itself, we're going to have a curly braces message user username. Okay, fantastic. So now under all of that, under this div right here, we're going to have another div with a with the with the classes of flex and flex call. Open that up. And we're going to have two p tags. The first one is going to have a class of text small. And so this now is going to be the message body. Body. And then this one is going to have a class of text extra small and italic because this is now going to be the time. So message created at we need a pipe. And then time ago. Okay, why don't we go and look at the browser and see if we broke anything? Okay, so we'll go back, we'll refresh. Okay, cool. So this is the logged in user, and we've got our styling and our our image. And if we hover, we can see that this goes back to our profile page. Okay, fantastic. So the next one we're going to do is the input with the button so that we can post messages to this uh, list of messages that we're going to have. Okay, so let's head back to the text editor. And in this chat folder, we can now create a new view and we'll call this one chat input dot view. Okay, so we'll just do our skeleton. And get that ready. Okay, so chat box. I'm sorry, show. Okay, so now we've created a form and we created a method for that form. So we need to pass that into the actual component that we're going to put. So that component is going to be up here. It's going to be chat input. And we're going to add the method equals submit message form equals form and then item item equals room we need to import this component so copy paste copy paste And this is chat input. Okay, cool. So now let's, we can now close this chat box because we don't need it anymore and open up the input. So let's start first by bringing in our props. Okay, we need form. And method. Here we're gonna have a div with a class of flex, flex, call, items end, margin top of five, px of three, and py of three. Okay, open that up, and now we need an input. Text is okay. We need a class of border, rounded, medium. Px of two, py of one, width full. Then we need a placeholder, which is just gonna say, say something dot dot dot. OK, 
Okay, then we need the V model. Form dot body. And then we're going to add key up method. And the key up that we need is dot enter. So that when the user clicks enter, then it'll go ahead and also submit this to the back end. Okay. So now we need a button. And this button is just going to say send. Okay, we need a bunch of classes, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste those in. Again, I'm pushing this up to GitHub so you'll be able to access the classes for that. Okay, we're going to come out here. We're going to make another special class. And this one is going to be for the opacity after the user clicks enter. Um, or send. Okay, um, so this one's going to be an opacity of 25 if the form is processing. Okay, and then we need a um, outside of the print of the um, quotations, we need a disabled equals form processing, meaning you won't be able to click it multiple times when uh, you have something to send. And this needs to be opacity. Okay, and then we also need to add the click method. So at click equals method. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh the browser and see if this works. So refresh. Okay, so the first thing we'll try is to click enter. So enter. And that submits and it goes through. And then we'll just say click because we're going to click the button on this one. Cool, that went through. So what I'm going to do is log in as user 2 and then I'm going to put them up side by side so we can make sure that we're accessing this on both for both users. Okay, so I've gone ahead and logged in as user 2 on the right side. So user 1 is on the left, user 2 is on the right. If we go back to the code, I did make one small error. If you come down to the show page and you go to the connect method, I put body equals event dot new message, and this should actually be message body. Okay. So that'll that'll fix one thing um, so that we're done there the other thing we need to do is log in as um, not log in but we need to run PHP artisan uh, queue work and also we need to go to the new chat message event and that will um, we need to add implements should broadcast. Okay, and if you go up top, that's already in there, should broadcast. So we ju we're just implementing it now. Okay, so let's head over to our users and get this to work. So we'll refresh and we'll refresh. Okay, so now user 1 is going to say, I don't know, we'll say, hey, buddy, press enter, and now we should see it on this side. Okay, there it is, and now let's try it in reverse, we'll say hi, there. Okay, so we see it here, we see it here, and we didn't have to refresh anything. Okay, cool. So we are going to leave it there for today. We did a lot. Um, in the next episode, we're going to have the users that are actually in the room, we're going to have them listed here, and we're going to set it up so that it will update immediately here and here when a user enters and leaves the room. Okay, so... I will see you guys next time. I'll make sure to push all this code up to GitHub. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below and I'll go ahead and respond to them as quickly as I can. Alright, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.